Welcome to the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. I am Laura Lynn, and we are going to work on block 10 of Be My Neighbor from Moda from 2017. It was a sew along by uh, Pat Sloan, uh, though there's no tutorials on it, just a couple of photos, and I don't even think the photos got all the way finished. So we are finishing this, let me tell you, we're making sure. So we are back block 10, and uh, we have block 11 here too, and we're going to do that next. So you got to catch up on it couple and I'm going to use there's block 11 and I'm going to use Christmas fabric to make these little houses but I'm going to mix up my fabrics because I want to I think this would look awesome with little Christmas fabric so that's what just a heads up there okay so block 10 that we're working on uh, I have um heat and bond and traced my uh bird pieces but I haven't picked quite what fabric I want to make my birds out of yet. So we'll just put that off to the side because I haven't quite decided. Uh, here is what the block looks like for the first one I've done. Now I'm making two of these, as most of you well know in this whole process. I'm making one for my sister Elizabeth and one for my sister Lisa. Uh, we lost her mom this year and I wanted to make us something super special to, um, I don't know, just, just to share and to love. And I've had a lot of fun and love putting these together. So I, I will make my bird and it will go over here. I just haven't decided what yet. I'm, I'm, I'm actually organizing my stash. I got 10 clear storage bins varying from 70 liter to 105 liter. Um, I got six of one and four of another to help me organize my fabrics because they've been open here, just like tucked into boxes and little storage bins and so on and so forth. And they really need to kind of be enclosed. So I have been working on that and I've been, I'll, I'll pick what I like to make my birds when I start sorting things out. So there we go, working on that, okay. So we have our top of our house done here. We are just had finished, hold on. Mm -hmm doing our tree and now we need to do one little section which is right here and then add our tree stem and I chose this really kind of burgundy with a brown swirl I don't know it just really I thought it looked really kind of cool so we need to add one more piece of the um, gladiola fabric this one actually I got lucky and the way I cut it there was actually a bumblebee that ended up coming out onto this tree and I thought it was lovely so uh, I, don't, I just I'm happy I kept it so that's for sure all right so we need to do one more to finish off this tree so let's do that and then we'll finish working on our house okay this beautiful little house. Okay, our stuff off to the side there. Let's finish the tree. So here is my um, gladiola fabric. Okay, and that was one of my mother-in-law's very favorite flowers. So whenever I, I use this fabric, I think of her. And I'm putting my little corner of fabric up in the one section to be able to give that tree uh, dimension, like it's, it's coming into a, um, a a point, okay. And I found that these chunks on here on the side, you know, you're only going to get about an inch by inch if you square it up for your half square triangle if you were to keep them for a project like I've been keeping them for for a couple of years now and we've made some beautiful things um, with our half square triangles, um, 675 square bag. Um, so, you know, these, they just, they just don't really mount to anything. So they end up being more fabric in the end than nothing else, anything else. So I just trim it off. Okay. Just trim it off, and then you want to press this out. We're just going to finger press it this and print finger press it at this point in time. Sorry, just excited to get the video. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> excuse my enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm happy. We only got like uh, six more after this, and it's, it's really gone quite fast. And I love the beautiful, beautiful collection that I have done with doing two of these houses at the same time. So and I'm, I'm, I'm busting my stash and I'm picking unique fabrics and I'm trying to link them a little bit, but maybe not so much because they are for two sisters. I'm, I'm the baby and it's for my two older sisters. 
So. And I don't know, I, maybe one might know it's coming. That would be my sister, Lisa. Uh, but I do not believe Elizabeth. She does not watch any of our streams or videos or anything like that, that I know of. I mean, she could secretly and, you know, know already, but just saying, hopefully it'll be a surprise for both of them. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on here? Oh, it looks like I need new bobbin soon. Okay, so there's our beautiful tree done. Isn't that awesome? Love it. Love our tree. Beautiful, super cute. So that is what our representation of here is, okay, on our little uh, diagram, okay. And I broke up the two gladiola fabrics um, with this one here and one there. And of course, you can see how I did the difference on this block here using, you know, this fabric as the top and this fabric as one of the small pieces, but still had the gladiolas. There's a bit of a butterfly on here. Um, I didn't really notice that until the very end. And then I really noticed the bee. I thought the bee was really cute. So I thought, oh, yay, got a little bee in there. All right, so let's continue on to our little house here. We'll give that a press when we get the stuff done here. So uh, in the center of our house, you'll see, is a star, okay? And we've already started that. And I thought, oh, maybe they made a typo, but they didn't. They have you giving, uh, have you putting a two and a one quarter star or a chunk of fabric into a corner of a two and a half by four inch uh, rectangle, okay? So, hold on, where are, we, where are we here? There's that one, I got two, I got two, okay. All right, oh, that's, that's those, are, those are the corner ones here, sorry. Here's the two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I thought, well, that doesn't fit. Like, you'll see that. That doesn't fit in that corner, like, what am I supposed to do there, right? And then I was looking at it and of course reading the instructions, you know, cause those are awesome. They're, they're there for a reason. <laughs> and I, I thought, oh, they just wanted it up a little bit. They wanted to give it a little bit of a different, different, different look in the whole block layout here. Cause it's kind of, as you can see, it is actually set back a little bit. Okay, so you can see that really close on the camera there. I'm like, oh, all right, we got this. So, uh, it has it doing upside down, but I kind of more of, you know, I need to put it in the corner. I need to see it in so I understand it. So to me, if I'm going up here to make my peak on my jelly bean or colored egg fabric, I haven't quite discovered whether this is egg or jelly bean. You tell me what you think. Okay, there we go. Egg or jelly bean. And, uh, and then when we, once we sew here, we're gonna chop that off, that's gonna flip out, and then we're gonna overlap there. But they want you to have that little tiny space right down here to help make that star uh, kind of pop out, I guess, in, in your background fabric or your house fabric, okay? So let's get those uh, two done, because we have two sides to do, because we got two sides done right here. And you can see that, how it's a little bit more colored down here of the colored fabric than it is of the star fabric, okay? And I love to work with colors, so you may think some of my selections, maybe even of last week when I made the castle, what to me looked like a castle, uh, was a little bit, woo, okay, that's a little crazy there, Laura Lynn, but I love color and I love the play on color and I like how uh, color comes together when you do it in a whole overall scheme. We got 16 blocks to work with, like 16. That's gonna, that's gonna uh, distribute a lot of color over this whole quilt project between the two projects, like the two quilts. Uh, I, I, it's gonna be like a beautiful discovery rainbow. And, I, and the fact that I know next time on block 11, I really wanna focus on my Christmas fabric. So I may do three and three and mix it up a little bit, like for the one block and three and three of another. Uh, to me, that's what seems appealing at this point in time. So we'll just, we'll just kind of go with that. All right, so there's one. And then again, you can see right down here is that extra colored fabric from the egg slash jelly bean fabric. <laughs> I don't even know where I got this. I know I did not buy it. Someone must have gifted it to me and I appreciate it greatly because it is making it the one heck of an adorable little house. And I am so pleased with it. 
And these don't, I don't know, what, would, what do you do with these? You tell me in the comments what you do with these tiny little pieces left over. What, do you, what, what are you going to do with those? I don't know. I, I, just, I just flop them off to the side and, you know. All right, chop that off. Do a little finger press, just like this. Line up your other fabric, and then we'll add our little squares to the outside on either side of those. Okay, and they'll finish off this whole beautiful little star. This one would have been a lovely one to do with uh, Christmas fabrics. You totally could have, you know, totally could have it because of the star. Uh, I like the one with the like the six little miniature houses or six miniature looks like and to me it looks like miniature houses um, and I like to do them like you know in different Christmas fabrics so I'm gonna save my Christmas fabrics and pick all my stash uh, for that Christmas block particularly I may do two I may do two Christmas blocks in the end but because uh, I do like Christmas um, or th themed wise with the fabric and we'll go from there. You never know. All right, adding those two and a half on two and a half on either side looks amazing. Okay, super cute, and it really helps build out our star here. Okay, so we need to get our other little fabrics on either side, and we finish off our star, and we can finish off our house. We've already done our, done our tree. You guys go. And I like that some of these blocks don't have to have a heck of a lot of fabric. You just need, you know, a few of this and a few of that if you want to mix it up, mix and match it. So, all right, there we go. That's our two other longer sides done from our body piece, main section there. And so we're just going to flip that over, line up our seams, put two pins in. Oops, need to move our pin cushion closer. <clears throat> Right there and right there. Oh, hold on, line it up straight. Line it up and pin it straight, okay. There, and then we can come over on this side with the other two right at their seams and get them both done. Okay, and then we can put it, finish putting our house together. Love that jelly bean slash egg fabric. <laughs> I thought it was jelly bean at first, and then after I was starting to cut it, I'm like, maybe it's Easter egg colors. I don't know. I'll ask the peoples. I'll ask the peoples of knowledge. See what you say. Because I don't have any of the salvage of it, so I can't even tell what it is. Like, you know, if it actually said something on the salvage edge, right? You know, Easter or jelly bean or something. You tell me. You tell me what you think. <laughs> two pins out okay and there we have a beautiful stunning star mm. love the colors love the colors behind it very nice all right and then we need to take our hold on I've, I've just been winging it all this here we need to take our eight by two uh mm, oh that shouldn't have been so in there uh oh hold on well, well, I'm slipping out of a chair. <laughs> Where's my seam ripper? Oh my gosh, I lost my seam ripper. It's right there, oh, for Pete's sakes. All right, all right, quick moment of editing. <clears throat> dork, dork. All right, so this should go here, and this should go here. There we go. Whoops. I was jumping the gun. Okay, and then here. And 
and then the opposite side. Okay. Because we're going to add this to here and then this part right here. Okay. So right there. Love that colors. Love those colors. It's like a little rainbow house. Who wouldn't want a jelly bean egg house? <laughs> I mean, one or the other. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then we take our top part. And we add it right up here. Hold on. The corner got kind of stuck down there. Let's flip it around. We did put a new needle on, so it's not that. It must have been just too close. Okay, there we go. There's our beautiful house. Isn't that super cute? Oh, love and love a colorful house. So now you have to have your tree on the left your strip of backing in between your house and your tree, okay? So, line one up, give it a pin or two. And you don't have to put the bird on if you don't want the bird. You can add something different if you want to put a butterfly or a dragonfly or, a, you know, a frog, a turtle, I don't know, just, you know, do, do whatever you want to do. You know, your, your creativity and interpretation of the block is, you know, completely up to you and have fun with it. Right. And you just have to sew the, oh, I ran out of bobbin thread. Oh no, I played bobbin chicken and lost. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I got another one loaded. It's all right, it's all right. See, I anticipated such trivial little nuisances that happen in the sewing area. So let's keep going here and sew on down. <laughs> well, we already sewed, <laughs> but we're going to do it again just to make sure we did it right. <laughs> and this should equal out to be approximately a 15 by 18 finished uh, block. Uh, okay. So there's our beautiful house. We're going to add our lovely little tree. And that is the end of block 10 for the two of them. Okay, for both my sisters. I'm hoping this is a lovely surprise come Christmas. And that's why we're trying to catch up a little bit by doing the 10 and 11, almost right, one right after the other, uh, so you can get caught up as well. Uh, so you can have your Christmas project that you wanted to make for somebody ready for Christmas. Okay. Oops. So, that up in here. Too many threads going on. There you go. Something was a little funky there. Sewing it down the right way. Oh, All right. oh, you jumped out. It's gonna be one of those days, it looks like, eh? Hmm. 
Get our pins out. Spread, spread our block out. Make sure we're happy with everything. It lines up nicely. It looks like, oh, we got a little higgledy piggledy. Oh, it must have been when we first started off. It was getting a little weird. Kind of weird. Finish that off. There we go. Okay. And then we just give it a press and add our birdies, whatever you want to do. Like I said, you can think of something different. If you don't want to keep adding the bird, the bird applique, like it's on a few of the blocks already. Uh, that's completely up to you. I do have both of the uh, heat and bond papers traced out for and I've actually already pressed for the beaks. So um, I just need to decide what color. Like I was trying to like wait for this one to come together, this one here, and then what color maybe it needed to make a pop in between here and here. Like to me, I'm thinking orange at this point in time. So maybe an orangey kind of bird. Um, I don't know. We'll see that. And then this one is a, a beautiful one as well, of course. Uh, I try, I, you know, I don't want to make them the same. I do have uh, very similar tree fabrics and sometimes the trunks are the same or sometimes the windows are the same, but that's where I'm trying to make a little bit of a connection between my two sisters. So, and me, of course. Uh, but here, I don't know, maybe like a pink to kind of accent the pink that's in the block. So we'll see. All right. Thank you everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate you here at the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. And we're happy you have been on this adventure with us of uh, Be My Neighbor by Moda. Uh, I've had a, a heck of a good time uh, putting it all together and picking fabrics and knowing it's I'm making something lovely for my sisters. So big hugs to you, and we'll see you on Saturday at the live stream at 1 p.m. Okay? All right. Take care. Eastern. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe.